Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Y5 battle. Today we have week 10 of the RODL4. So, a uh, bit of a controversy leading into this battle this week, actually. So, um, I did have a scheduled day and time to battle my weekly opponent, and um, that was the same opponent we had in week one of this league, actually. And... Um, the coach, uh, upon the time of the battle, actually requested uh, to delay the match, which I was able to oblige. Uh, after that, they actually ghosted during the um, new time that we were supposed to battle, and then uh, we would later find out that they were planning on forfeiting and dropping from the league. So, um, the leadership of the league decided uh, and pretty handily found a new coach uh, to replace the old one and uh, also decided uh, for whatever reason that despite all that uh, we were going to go ahead and have uh, this match here with the new coach uh, despite all of that stuff. Um, which is a decision I do strongly disagree with. I don't think it's uh, right, but it kind of just is what it is. So um, we kind of have to put all of that behind us and uh, try to focus up here on getting this victory because uh, we are going into this match at four and five, uh, whereas our opponent is actually one and eight. So um, they are actually mathematically eliminated from making playoffs here, uh, but they could definitely potentially play spoiler for us because um, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, we are really in uh, a must win situation as we are going to be every week uh, for the remainder of the league. So, um, all that being said, uh, we're just going to go ahead and now get into the match. All right, so uh, our opponent's going to be Jalen, and there you can see um, the opposing team. Okay, so most of the stuff that I was expecting, the team didn't change, um, so that's good. Um, so we have the Galarian Darm, the Jirachi, the Araquanid, um, all stuff that I expected. Um, then we also have the Girder, um, the Altaria, and um, the uh, Galarian Corsola. So, um, not I was not uh, specifically expecting um, the Altaria um, or the Girder, really. Um, so, what do I want to lead with has to be the question here. And um, I think we're actually just going to go with the Arcanine. Um, I do kind of have... Um, a little bit of a plan here, and um, yeah, so hopefully uh, we can make something happen. So we're just going to see how that works out. So again, this is really a must-win situation for us, as are all these weeks. So there he is. And uh, he's going to go ahead and lead with the Araquanid. So that was kind of what I was anticipating, um, leading with the Arcanine. So um, I am going to get the Intimidate to lower this thing's attack, which is good. Um, I am adamant max attack with a Choice Band, so I am just going to go square for a Wild Charge here. Um, it could potentially one-shot this thing, depending on the spread. And uh, he's going to say, so we're going to find out if it's enough. And it's not quite enough, actually. Going to knock this thing to about a quarter HP, which kind of sucks. That's going to let him get up the Sticky Web, which uh, sucks a little bit. Um, we're going to have to deal with that um, for the remainder of the match. So uh, he's also Leftovers, I see. Um, so um, I guess there's just no reason not to just go for the Wild Charge again. He might try to switch out to save it. We don't know. Um, but we just pretty much have to click it again um, at this point. It should do pretty nice damage to almost anything that he wants to switch in. Uh, but he is going to switch to try and save it, and uh, he's going to switch in with the uh, Galarian Corsola. So I'm um, going to hit this thing with a Wild Charge and see how much it does, and uh, this thing must be very, very physically defensive because that is not going to do much so we're going to have to get out here for sure, and uh, I think we're going to go into the Gudra. Um, that's definitely, I think, the safe switch to this thing, so we're going to do that. So there is the Gudra, and we are going to get the speed reduction on the Sticky Web, unfortunately. And um, he is going to go for a Stealth Rock as well, so that's not good. So going to get that Entry Hazard, another Entry Hazard set up on us. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, any way to remove the Hazard, so we're just going to kind of have to deal with it. Um, 
I think um, we're just gonna fire blast here to see how much damage we can get um, on this thing. Uh, it looks definitely to be more of a physically defensive set, um, but I guess we'll find out what it wants to do here. And uh, he's gonna stay in, so gonna hit it with a fire blast. And it is gonna take it down to about half, which is not bad. He's gonna go for a nightshade in return. Um, so that's gonna take a guaranteed 50 HP off of us. So at this point, um, we could definitely um, go for a Draco Meteor. I think that's actually what we're, I don't know if it's gonna be enough though from that range. I think it actually might not be enough from that range. So actually, I think we're just gonna fire blast again. Um, he might try to switch. Nope, he's going to stay in, and we're going to miss a Fire Blast, so that sucks. Um, he's going to Nightshade again, so he's going to get more chip on us, which also really sucks. That's going to knock us down to uh, pretty low. Um, I guess uh, I guess we... Um, yeah, that sucks. Uh, Alright, this time we're going to have to go for the Draco, uh, and hope it's enough, I guess. Um, we're going to go for the Draco this time. Um, we don't miss. Uh, is it going to be enough? It's going to be close, I think. Um, and it is not enough, just barely it is not enough to take this thing out, so that really sucks. He's gonna Strength Sap, but he's gonna Trip Sap Sipper, okay, so that actually works out really nicely, um, so that's nice. So, um, we're definitely gonna Thunderbolt here, um, uh, and then, yeah, we're, he's just gonna stay in and take that, so, um, the Thunderbolt definitely gonna get rid of this thing from that range, and Cursed Body gonna activate, actually, at the last second to disable the Thunderbolt. So uh, that is going to knock him down, um, actually, to five. So we do have a small advantage early, but he does have the, uh, the hazards up, and Gudra is pretty weakened, so actually uh, not a super great spot to be in. So now he's going to come in with the Galarian Darm. So um, we could stay in and just let him take us out at this point. Um, I don't know uh, how much more help Gudra is going to be at this HP with the rocks up, but... Um, I kind of want to try to save it, but I'm actually not 100% sure what I want to do here. I think we're going to try to save it, actually. Um, so we're going to switch into the Arcanine, actually. Um, get the Intimidate to uh, cut this thing's attack. And hopefully, uh, he might be going for the Ice move. We'll see what happens. So there's the Arcanine. We're going to take... Um, we're going to get the speed reduction on the Sticky Web. And then, of course, the Stealth Rock damage. And uh, going to get the Intimidate to cut this thing's attack, which is good. And he is going to go for a U-turn, actually. Okay, so that's not great. He did predict the switch. That's going to do a lot of damage, actually. So he is, based on that damage, he may very well be banded, um, which would not be great. Um, but yeah, so he's going to get the pivot, which sucks. Um, we're going to see what he wants to come in with. We will see. He's thinking about it. And it is going to be uh, the girder. Okay, so he's probably um, thinking we're within within uh, mock punch range here. So um, based on this is actually not a good situation to be in. Um, I think what we're actually going to do is uh, we're just going to uh, go for an extreme speed choice band here to try and get some chip on this thing before we go down. But no, he's actually going to double switch. Okay, that's interesting. And he's going to switch into um, Altaria. Okay, so... Um, not 100% sure what he was predicting there, um, but I'm going to nail this thing with an extreme speed choice band. I'm going to take it down by about a third, which is not bad. Um, I don't know if we can actually survive another Stealth Rock switch in at that HP, so that's actually not great. Um, I think we might be able to, um, but I don't know. I think, you know what, I don't really want to risk that. I think we're just going to go for another choice band at extreme speed here on this thing. Um, and, uh, he's going to stay in and take that, so that's going to knock him to about a quarter HP. He's going to roost in return, so he's probably predicting a switch. Um, so that is going to put him back up, uh, pretty far, actually, to almost full, um, which is not good. We could try to, again, we're kind of in the same boat as we were before, could try to switch out here. Um, I don't really know what the best course of action is, to be completely honest. Um... I think we just kind of have to stay the course at this point. We're just going to go for another Choice Band Extreme because I'm really not confident we can live that Stealth Rock switch in. Um, so we're going to E-Speed again, knock him down to about a third. He's going to Roost again. 
So he's just going to keep playing this game with us, unfortunately, trying to get back up to full HP. He's almost back up to full now. Um, I think we're going to add... Okay, this time around, I think we are going to switch, um, and we're going to switch into Cresselia this time. So um, even if we can't survive um, a Stealth Rock switch in with our K9, it might still be uh, useful fodder later, but I'm um, going to take the rocks with Cresselia, and he's going to roost again, so we kind of get Cresselia in for free, which is not bad. Um, so there's that. So we are going to regain some HP with the leftovers as well. So we don't really know, um, what this thing is planning, but I think, um, we're going to, um, he still has pretty much everything intact, but I think we're just going to go ahead and try to set up a substitute at this point. Um, and, uh, he is going to withdraw, so that's good. So we're going to get a substitute up for free. Um, he's going to go into Jirachi, so that's, uh, not terrible for us. Um, as we do get the substitute up. So um, we're gonna regain some HP with the leftovers as well. So now we kind of have a choice to make. Um, we could just try to attack this thing outright, which I think might be the right play um, with a shadow ball. We could try to calm mine, but I'm not super confident in that. So I think we're just gonna shadow ball. Um, yeah, that's the safer play. So he's gonna iron head. So it looks like he might be a physical variant so um yeah that's definitely gonna break the sub um oh no it didn't did it break the sub i don't think it did actually so we're gonna hit a shadow ball on this thing it did not actually break the sub um so that's good uh so he must be a maximally uh defensively invested jirachi for that to have not broken that sub i think so um we're just gonna shadow ball again here um yeah there's no reason not to he's gonna iron head again um, and then I would imagine, yeah, the sub's definitely going to break this time around. Um, but we are going to get a shadow ball off once again. So this is really good chip on this Jirachi right here. And that's going to knock it well into the red. Um, and we also get a special defense drop. That would have been nice the first time around. Um, we are going to regain more HP with the leftovers. So now we kind of have a choice to make. Do we want to play the game? Uh, do we want to risk whether or not we're going to survive a flinch or we're gonna not, whether or not we're going to get flinched here? That's the real question. I don't really feel confident playing that game, to be completely honest, but we might have to sack something if we don't do that. So this is actually a pretty difficult um, decision here. But then again, if he didn't even do enough damage to break a sub one time, I think we are just going to stay in in Shadow Ball. Because um, if he didn't do enough damage to break the sub the first time, um, hopefully it shouldn't do a ton. It doesn't do a ton. We do get flinched, though, so there's the flinch. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of what I was afraid of. So, yeah, um, there's one flinch. Um, uh, decisions, decisions. Um, you know what? I think we're going to... Um, we're going to go ahead and switch out into the um, Inteleon, actually, this time around. Um, because, unfortunately, with the hazards up, our Focus Sash is going to be broken, which sucks. Um, but this thing might be choice itemed as well. Um, we don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, we do take the Stealth Rocks and the Sticky Webs. He's going to Iron Head again. <clears throat> um, that is going to do a bit to us. Um, I think we are going to... Um, I think we just go for a Scald here, actually. Um, depending on the spread, we might still outspeed this thing. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, no, he is going to outspeed us. And he Iron Heads again, and we get flinched again. Okay, so that's two flinches out of two. Um, so that sucks. So uh, I guess we're just going to Scald again here. Um, and I guess we have to hope that we can break through. Um, and he's going to Iron Head again. And are we going to survive even? And no, we're actually not going to survive the Iron Head this time. So um, two out of two flinches. Uh, that sucks. That's going to knock us to five. Um, I guess at this point we have to just try and um, maybe hope. Um, try to come in with the Arcanine maybe and hope we survive the rocks. Or we could... Um, eh, I don't know what to do here actually. I think... You know what, I think we're going to go into, um, we have to survive a flinch, that's the problem. I think we're going to go into the S Cavalier this time around, because um, I'm willing to bet at this point that this thing is choice, um, given that he just kept going for the Iron Head, so um, we're going to hope that this thing is choice, and um, yeah, we're going to attempt to set up a substitute. So 
We're gonna find out um, if this thing is choice, maybe. Um, we're gonna see what happens, but we're 5-5 five, five right now. And what's he gonna do? He's No, he's gonna switch out, so he's not gonna try to play the flinch game again. Um, and he's going to come in with the girder, all right. So um, we're gonna get the sub off, which is um, all right. So we get the sub up, which is not bad. We're gonna regain some HP with the leftovers, which is also not bad. Um, so I think what we're gonna wanna do here is just knock off, um, get rid of this thing's item. It's probably Eviolite, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna knock off here to hopefully get rid of that um, Eviolite. So he's gonna drain punch, okay. So he is packing that. So uh, gonna hit us with that and um, it is going to crit us, not that that matters. Um, it's going to get, I think, believe it'll probably get rid of the sub regardless. Um, we're going to knock off and not do much damage, but uh, we are going to get rid of this thing's Eviolite, which is what we wanted. Um, so we're going to regain some more HP with the leftovers as well. Now, um, do we want to take a hit with this thing or do we want to switch out is the real question at this point. Um, I'm kind of thinking we might want to switch out, but I'm not, uh, we're running low kind of, so we might just need to hit this thing for some damage. So you know what? I think that's what we're going to do actually. Uh, but the drain punch is going to do a lot though. That's a problem. Um, ugh, this is not a great situation to be in actually. Um, we could sack the arcanine. Don't really want to do that, but, um, I don't think, you know what, I think we might just have to try and sack the Arcanine here at this point. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to do that, because I really don't want to take a hit. Um, really don't want to take a hit um, on the S Cavalier right now. The Arcanine's probably going to go down to the Stealth Rock damage. If uh, I guess we're going to find out if it is or if it isn't. Um, and it actually does survive with 22 HP. We get the Intimidate on this thing, which is not bad. Um, and he is going to knock off, okay, so he's probably predicting the Cresselia to come in, so, um, yeah, that's definitely going to get rid of the Arcanine, which sucks, that's going to drop us to, um, to four, so that is definitely not good, but we did intimidate this thing, which is good. Um, I think at this point we have to, um, go ahead and come in with the Urshifu, actually, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to come in with the Urshifu. So I don't think I'm going to assume we're going to get, of course, Sticky Webbed and Stealth Rocked. Um, I don't imagine he's going to want to stay in on this matchup. Um, so he's he does have a few switch options here. Um, but I think we are going to... Um, I think we're going to U-turn, actually. Because um, I can't imagine he's going to stay in on this. Um, and yeah, no, he is going to stay in. Okay, that's a bit of a surprise. So the U-turn not going to do too much damage to this thing, which kind of sucks. Um, and then we are going to get the pivot, and now we kind of have to choose something to come in on this thing, so that's actually not great. Um, what do we want to come in on this thing now? We're kind of running out of options here. Um, eesh. Um, uh, might be the Gudra... I don't know if we can really survive. He's probably gonna drain punch if I had to guess. You know, I think we are, we're gonna go for the Cresselia predicting the fighting move. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is a tough choice, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, so we're going to take the rocks and he is going to knock off, so that sucks. So he'd switch right into that knockoff. Um, so he's gonna get rid of our leftovers. Um, that sucks. Um, so I think um, we just kind of have to, uh, I think we have to substitute at this point, actually, or maybe Psychic. No, I think we have to substitute. Um, yeah, I think we have to substitute. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a little bit of a risk. Um, I think he's going to switch here. Um, but yeah, I think we have to substitute. So uh, I don't think, actually, based on what I've seen from this thing, I don't think um, it could actually break... Uh, the substitute, um, which would be, if it if it tries to attack, which would be good. But um, we're gonna find out what it wants to do. He could could be switching. We don't know. Um, yeah, he is gonna switch. Okay, so that's actually good. I think uh, he's gonna switch in with the Araquanid. That's not bad. Um, so we're gonna get the substitute off, which is good. We're barely gonna survive that in the red. 
um, substitutes in, and he's going to regain some HP with his leftovers, so that's not great. Um, but I think um, we're going to try to knock this thing out with a Psychic, I think is the best thing we can do here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, depending on the spread of this thing, um, we'll see what, how much damage we can get. We're going to Psychic. We're going to see how much it does. Um, and it is would definitely two-shot him from that range. So he knocks in the red, but he survives. He's going to Liquidation. Um, and yeah, that's going to um, knock out our sub, which sucks. Um, so he's going to regain HP with the leftovers. And um, I think, um, based on what we've seen, uh, we should... A Psychic should take him out from this range, so we're just going to do that again. It's unfortunately that we lost our sub, um, and I don't have a recovery move on this time around. Um, we're going to just Psychic him again, and is it enough? It should be... Yes, it is enough um, to get rid of the Araquanid, so that's good. Um, so that will knock him down to four, which is good. Uh, Cresselia in a, you know, kind of worse for wear, um, which sucks. So now he's going to come in with the Galarian Darm, and uh, that's definitely not good. So we really, um, we're going to go down here. Uh, we're just going to click Psychic, because I can't imagine uh, we're going to survive this attack, or, uh, you know, unless he really massively overpredicts. But no, he's just going to U-turn, kind of figured that. Um, that's definitely going to take us out from that range. Um, critical hit definitely didn't matter um, from that uh, so that is going to knock us to three. So yeah, we're in a little bit of a spot right now, especially if both of his Pokemon are choice. Uh, Scarf, I feel like the, the Darm is probably banned, but even with that, the Sticky Web is up, so that's not good. He's going to come in with the Girder, um, and I think, uh, what do we want to come in with here? This is going to kind of be a rough choice. Um, I don't know if we can take Girder, depending on the spread, with Urshifu with a close combat from that range, but we might just have to chance it because um, everything's going to get outsped. So I think, um, yeah, I think we really, um, we have to come in with the Urshifu and we have to just close combat and hope that it's enough um, from that range to take this out. And the Evil Light's gone, which is good. Um, we are Scarf, we should definitely outspeed. Um, so yeah, we really have no choice but to just uh, close combat here and see and hope that it's enough from that range. It did get chipped to about three quarters. So um, if this thing is maximally defensively invested, it might survive. But no, he's not going to risk it. He's going to switch, and he's going to hard switch right into uh, Altaria. So that sucks. He's predicting the close combat. Um, so he's got the Cloud Nine. Close combat's going to hit this thing, and it's going to do about a third. So that's not too bad. Um, we do lose um, defensive stats from that. We are definitely get, not going to want to stay in on this matchup. We have to switch to either um, Gudra or um, Cavalier, And I think it has to be Gudra, honestly. So we need to have, get, uh, get out of close combat. So we're going to switch to uh, Gudra here. So, um, not the greatest of positions to be in. Uh, yep, we're going to go for the switch, and we'll see. Here's Gudra. Depending on what he does, uh, we're going to get the sticky web and the rocks, not whole nine yards. Um, that's going to knock us to about a uh, quarter HP. He's going to hurricane. Okay, so he goes for the attack, and uh, that knocks us down by not much, fortunately. Um, so now we kind of have another choice to make here with what we're going to go for. I guess there's no reason... Uh, not to just go for the Draco Meteor at this point, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't know what the speed investment is on this thing. Uh, he is going to outspeed us with the Draco. He misses. That's nice. We're going to go for our Draco. We don't miss. Okay, so we got a little bit of luck back there, uh, courtesy of that miss on the Draco. We're going to hit him with the Draco and take him out, so that's really nice. Um, that's going to get rid of that Altaria, which is nice. Um, so that is going to knock him to three Pokemon. Um, so that is definitely good. Um, got a little luck back there from those flinches earlier. Um, so we're going to be 3-3, uh, three to three, even though uh, definitely chipped down here a little bit. Uh, going to come back in with the Galarian Darm. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we can really save Gudra at this point. So um, we're just going to go ahead and um, click Fire Blast. Uh, there's no way we're going to survive an attack from this thing, though. Um, I don't believe. And he's just going to U-turn again anyway, so um, that is definitely going to take us out. So I'm thinking this thing is definitely banded at this point. He's only showed U-turn, but that's going to knock us to two. Um, 
So now we'll see what he wants to come in with. The only good thing about this is that we are going to get the switch advantage based on what he wants to bring in. So he's got the Darm, the Jirachi, and um, he's going to come in with the Jirachi. All right, so um, I think we have to come in with the Urshifu, actually, at this point. Um, because, yeah, I think we just have to come in with the Urshifu, because he could be definitely packing. He's probably packing a fire move, I would imagine. So, um, I don't think, um, we are Scarf, but he's pro if he's Scarf too after the speed reduction off the Sticky Web, um, I really don't think that we're going to um, survive. So, I think we just have to, um, we have to lock ourselves into close combat here. He might, uh, we'll see what happens. We have to lock into close combat. We're actually running low on time, too. Um, he's actually going to go for the switch, though, so he's probably predicting the Sucker Punch here. So he is going to switch into uh, the Girder, so that actually works in our favor. We're going to close combat on this thing, and that is actually enough um, from that range to uh, get rid of the Girder, so that's good. Um, so that's going to knock him to two, so that's nice. Um, so we do, uh, we're two to two now. We have the, he has the Darm. Um, and the Jirachi left. We'll see what he wants to come in with at this point. It's definitely coming down to the wire. Um, yeah. So, uh, coming down to the wire in all aspects here. Um, I believe the Darm, if I had to guess, I'd say it would probably have to be banded. So he is going to come in. He's going to come in with the Darm. So, uh, we have to stay in here. I guess this is just a moment of truth to find out, um, whether or not this thing is Scarf or not, because if it's Scarf, it will outspeed, I think, after the Sticky Web reduction. I think we still outspeed being Scarf um, without the, uh, if he's not Scarf, even with the Sticky Web uh, reduction. So we're going to find out, I guess, right now what it's going to be. Um, what's he going to do? We're locked into close, and no, he does outspeed us, actually. Okay, so he's Scarf, and no... We can't survive. That really sucks. That's going to knock the Urshifu out with an earthquake, knock us to just one, which is the, um, which is the S Cavalier. So I think we might, we might just be done for here, unfortunately. He's probably, I thought he was banded, but he might be Scarf, or he might be banned with max speed. I don't really know, but um, either way, we're going to take all that uh, hazards right there. And I think at this point, um, we just have to... Um, we're just going to Iron Head. I don't know if we can even survive an attack if this thing is banded, but I guess we're going to see what he wants to do here. So, um, he might switch actually though, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but either way, this really isn't looking good for us at this point. Uh, what is he going to want to do here? Okay, so he is going to switch, so that sucks. Um, he's going to switch to the Jirachi. I don't know if an Iron Head's going to be enough even from that range to take it out. We're going to find out. Hit this thing with an Iron Head, and it is enough. Okay, so the Iron Head with a critical hit actually um, takes out the Jirachi. Um, so now we're one-on-one -on -one here. Um, we're going to get the Leftovers recovery. Um, but he is, I would, if I would have to guess, I would have to imagine that he is probably packing the fire move on the Darm, so he's probably just going to get rid of us with that. So, I mean, it's going to be close, um, but I guess all we can really do is just go for the Iron Head here at this point. Um, it is our best damaging move. So, uh, yeah, we're going to Iron Head and see what happens, I guess. Um, he's, I can't imagine he's not packing a fire move, and uh, there's a Flare Blitz, yeah, so, so we definitely just lost off the Flare Blitz. Yeah. Yep. So that's going to be it for S Cavalier, um, and that's going to be game. So we're going to lose there. Um, that's a 1-0 loss to Jalen. Uh, that was actually a great match. Uh, very close, very competitive. They don't get much closer than that. Um, but it really does suck in a lot of other ways, unfortunately. Um, it sucks that that was actually, I think, one of the closest and best matches we've had all season because... Um, not going to lie to you guys, I do feel kind of robbed um, in the sense of everything that I had mentioned um, earlier in um, in the video about uh, the circumstances surrounding this game. Um, I do feel that this definitely should have been uh, a forfeit based on the circumstances I displayed, and uh, now we took the loss um, on top of everything. So um, I will say I, I really have to, at this point... Um, not really sure what I want to do. Um, 
yeah, um, still kind of think need, I need some time uh, to process uh, everything, but I guess we're going to um, just go ahead and uh, kind of think of it, think it through from here. Um, so unfortunately, with that loss, the Pidgeys dropped to four and six. Um, yeah, our, our playoff hopes seem pretty distant at this point. Um, but you know, um, there, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Like I said, I mean, I'm not, there, there is a, there is a chance that we might just have to call it for this league after this incredibly, uh, incredibly poor decision-making by the, uh, the, uh, the heads of the league here, um, to have this game take place after, um, after all the circumstances surrounding it. But, um, that's going to be something that we're going to have to think about. Um, and then just, you know, we'll see what happens from this point forward. So, like I said, it's probably one of the better games, if not um, one of the best games we've had this season. And it, it is, it just kind of sucks that it's kind of tarnished by the fact that uh, <laughs> based on league policy, it uh, probably shouldn't have even taken place. But um, what can I say? I guess we'll, we'll have to see what happens uh, after this. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it. And we'll see you next time.